Now, let's come back. Yes, from the beginning, we use the exact mathematical formula. So that means we don't have truncation error here. It's okay for you, remember? What means truncation error? Truncation error means the the error term, okay? By drop something in the mathematical formula by truncated some uh, uh, terms, right? But now we don't uh, we don't drop uh, any term in the formula. Now you see. This is is the exact formula, so we don't drop any term. So, by the two methods, we don't have truncation error. We only have a, a round off error. It's okay. What is round off error here? You see, for example, i zero, i zero. The exact value is ln six over five. It is a uh, Irrational number, but now here by method one we input i zero by zero point one eight two zero. Now this is uh, just a float number, right? So we have error. So the error for the error we if we denote e zero by i zero minus i zero tilde. I0 tilde means the numerical uh, uh, number. So it is ln 6 over 5 minus 0 0.1. 0 0.1 over 5. It's okay for you? We, we cannot use ln 6 over 5. We can only use 1, 0 0.1820. Because we use 0 0.1820 to approximate ln 6 of 5. So we have round of error here. It's okay for you? We have round, round of error here. And continue, the error is amplified by method 1 from I0 to I7. It's okay for you? So. The error is amplified greatly, so this is an unstable algorithm. And also, for method 2, we start from 0 0.0210. Of course, what is I7? I7, here. I7, I write here. Okay, I7, I write here. I7 should be the Integral from 0 to 1, x, the power is 7, over x plus 5, dx. It's okay? So, this is the exact integral. Now, we don't use the exact value. We just use this number, 0 0.0210 to approximate I7. So we have a round of error here. It's okay? And continue. The round of error here, now you see, is not amplified. So the method 2 is stable. It's okay for you? For stability, I sh should repeat because this is an important uh, conception. For stability, what means stability for algorithm? We just uh, consider Round of error. Then, if the round of error can be controlled, then it is stable. Otherwise, if the round of error cannot be controlled, then the algorithm is unstable. Are you clear? Okay, here we just show you the numerical results. But uh, now we need to uh, uh, make some theoretical or mathematical analysis to see what's the reason why method 1 is unstable but method 2 is stable, right? It's okay for you? 
So this is an interesting theoretical uh, analysis, right? Okay, now, <clears throat> in order to consider the uh, stability, we let I0 bar, I1 bar, uh, up to uh, I7 bar be the approximate values to I0, I1 to I7, right? That means I0, I1, I7 denotes denotes the exact integrals. And I0 bar, I1 bar, I7 bar denotes the uh, numerical result. Okay? So, now, the arrows are denoted by En. En equal to In minus In bar for n to 0, 1 to 7. It's okay? So E0 equal to I0 minus I0 bar and so on. Okay? Now, let's consider method 1. For method 1, the recursion of the arrow arrows is like this. Okay, so here I, I show you the details. Let's, uh, we, we need to com, uh, come back to the method 1. Here, by method 1, the formula is in equal to 1 over n minus 5 multiplied i n minus 1. It's okay for you? Please remember this formula. I will write here. Okay, for method 1, in equal to 1 over n minus 5 times i n minus 1. This is method 1, right? It's okay? So, here, okay, if we consider uh, i7 and i7 bar, what it mean? i7 bar? i7 bar means, here I show you, in exact uh, formula, i7 equal to 1 over 7 minus 5 multiply i6 It's okay for you? This is the exact formula when n equal to 7 Now, in numerical algorithm actually we don't have exact value for i6 We have to use the numerical result i6 bar Right? Now you see the bar means the numerical result approximation to i6 So, in numerical program, you just use 1 over 7 mi minus 5 multiply i6 bar to obtain the numerical result i7 bar. It's okay for you? The first row is a exact formula. The second row means the numerical algorithm. Okay, let's consider the difference for both sides. So, for the left side, it is i7 minus i7 bar. So it is e7, the error term. Okay, now left side. For the right side, 1 over 7 minus 1 over 7 disappear. Okay, we have a common term, minus 5 factor, right? Common factor, multiply i6 minus i6 bar. It's okay? So that means minus 5 multiply the error for i6 bar e6 it's ok for you? so i7 minus i7 bar means e7 ok so now you see we obtain the relation between two arrows e6 and e7 that means e7 is if we consider the absolute value it means 5 times of e6 it means the error of E6 is undefined by 5 times to obtain E7. It's okay for you? Okay, continue, actually, continue. For, if we consider I7, uh, I6 and I5, as right here, I6 equal to 1 over 6 minus 5 multiplied I5, the exact formula, right? For the numerical result, we use i6 bar equal to 1 over 6 minus 5 times i5 bar. It's okay for you? We use i5 bar to approximate 
i5, then use the approximate value to obtain i6 bar. So again, the difference means e6 equal to i6 minus i6 bar. It is equal to 1 over 6 minus or 1 over 6 disappear. So again, we have minus 5 multiply i5 minus i5 bar. It's okay. So that means 5 times minus 5 times multiply e5 because here 5 and 5. So that means e6 equal to minus 5 times e6, e, e, uh, e6 equal to minus Min negative 5 multiply if e5. It's okay for you. So e6 equal to minus 5 e, e5. Uh, e, e5. Continue. So to the final result, that means here from the beginning, e0 means i0 minus i0 bar. It's okay. So how many times minus 5 multiply minus 5, negative 5. So, because here we have from 0 to, to 7, so here we have 7 power. It's okay for you? So that means, actually it means, the round of error of I7 may be amplified by this factor. If we consider the absolute value, if we just consider the absolute value less than less than the absolute value is okay, then we don't need minus one, right? We just need a five power of seven. Okay, now you see, it is almost 78,000 times of round of I0. So that is why the method one is unstable. It's okay? So this is a mathematical analysis to, to show, okay, how the errors are amplified because we have this factor. It's a big number, right? It's okay for you? Okay, so this is uh, for method one by the recursion. We, we know the errors like this. Okay. For second method, then we can obtain the question of the errors is like this. Okay, I need to clean. It's okay. I need to clean this screen. Okay, now let's uh, consider the method one, a uh, method two. Okay, now let's show you method two. You should remember here. We use this formula i n minus 1 equal to 1 over 5 multiply 1 over n minus i1 i n i n okay so it means here i write it here i n minus 1 equal to 1 over 5 multiply 1 over n minus i n it is okay for you okay so what does it mean it means now let's consider uh first term it means uh, again the mathematical formula is i0 when n equal to 1 equal to 1 over 5 multiply oh, uh, when n equal to 1 1 over 1 right minus i1 this is the exact mathematical formula okay in numerical algorithm we use i1 bar to compute i0 bar, right? So i0 bar equal to 1 over 5 multiply 1 minus i1 bar. It's okay for you? Then we can consider the error. So i0 minus i0 bar, the left side, okay? The difference equal to the common term 1 over 5, right? 1 over 5 multiply okay now you see it is just uh, i1 bar because minus minus so it is i1 bar minus i1 it's okay so it means e0 e0 
equal to here we change the sign so it is minus negative 1 over 5 multiply i1 minus i1 bar so it is just e1 it's okay for you so now you see the factor here is 1 over 5 but the factor here is is 5 of course negative 5 like here ne negative 1 over 5 okay next is similar so again multiply 1 uh, over 5 negative so at last from i0 okay here from e0 to e7 okay now you see the factor is uh, 1 over 5 the power is 7 okay so here we, sh we should know this is a very small number if we consider the absolute value it just uh, means 1 over 5 power 7 so it is just 1 over 68 uh, thousands and 125 so it is a very small number okay so it means okay the round of error of i0 may be controlled by the round of error of i7 so that is why it is stable it's okay for you so by actually we can obtain this two formulas without running the program we can just uh, use mathematical analysis to obtain the error estimation now you see it is error estimation from e0 to e7 here from e7 to e0 okay so we can estimate uh, evaluate the two methods before we run the program now we can see because the amplification factor is uh, very big so method one is unstable on the contrary the factor multiply multiplication factor is very small so method two is stable it's okay for you so this theoretical analysis okay is the same the, as the numerical results okay so we obtain a good uh, mathematical analysis so this, this is uh, I, I hope you can totally understand the mathematical analysis for the stability for this example it's okay okay uh, in a conclusion now how to avoid accuracy loss in numerical algorithms now uh, first rule the small denominator or large multiplier should be avoided the second rule the subtraction of Lillian equal numbers should be avoided and uh, the case of the large number it the small number should be avoided in addition operation and also we need to reduce operations in the numerical algorithms okay so uh, let's uh, review last uh, lesson we just uh, talk here so you, you, you see here by this formula we have the denominator by a1 minus a2 so if a1 is close to a2 then we have a very small denominator then it means we have a bigger multiplier so the subtraction of linear equals number numbers should be avoided and also we have the uh, this example remember here this example here 8 minus the square root of 60, 63 it is close okay they are close number and uh, we have accuracy loss for x2 so we, we need to uh, change the formula to compute x2 by 1 over x1 it's okay remember okay now here let's come back 
<coughs> so we have uh, these rules. The small denominator or large multiplier should be avoided. Okay, and the subtraction of linear, linearly equal numbers should be avoided. And also the large number is a small number. Remember the example? Okay, I omit. Uh, I don't review it again. Okay, now let's come to the last rule. Reduce operations in the numerical algorithm. Okay, we know for each operation will cause uh, error, right? So an, uh, a method to avoid uh, accuracy loss is to reduce the operations. And also uh, we can save some cost, right? Okay, I just show you an example to show you how to reduce the operations. Like this, if we want to compute the value function value of a polynomial, polynomial is very useful, right? P and X equal to A n multiply X power n plus A n minus 1 multiply X power of n minus 1 plus dot plus 2 A n A a 1 X plus A 0. It's an n degree polynomial, right? Usually, we like to uh, compute the function value. For example, if x equal to 2, right? And uh, pn, for example, p3, we use a uh, uh, cubic, for example, uh, 6x uh, cubic minus 5x square plus x minus 7. It's okay. So if you want to compute the function value, the polynomial when x equal to 6, uh, equal to 2, so you need to compute 6 multiply, here cubic means 2 multiply 2 multiply 2, right? We have 3 2's here, right? Minus 5 multiply 2 multiply 2, minus 2 minus 7. It's okay for you? Usually you, you, you like uh, uh, these uh, operations. Okay, now let's count how many operations here. Just consider multiplications. How many multiplications we need? Now you see for this term, cubic term, we have three, two, three twos, right? Now one, two, three. We need three multiplications for this this term. For this term, we have one and two, two multi multiplications, right? It's okay, and here actually I should uh, uh, use uh, with, uh, uh, for example, two x uh, by a coefficient. So here should be two multiply. Uh, okay, I choose uh, ch uh, change three x. Okay, then plus. So it should be plus three multiply two minus seven. It's okay. So here for this term we have we have one multiplication here two multiplications three multiplications totally totally we have three plus two plus one equal to six multiplications is okay for you okay now let's come back for this term it should be a n multiply x multiply x multiply x right here we have n n x Right, so we have, don't forget, also need this multiplication. So for this term, we need n multiplications. For this term, we need n minus 1 multiplications. And for this term, we need 1 multiplications. So totally, the number, the cost, right, it is 1 plus 2 plus 2 n. So the, the total, it is totally. Uh, uh, n multiply n plus 1 over 2. It's okay? 1 plus 2 plus uh, 2 n. It's okay? Okay. Here. Because we need, uh, uh, if you compute a function value like this, one by one, so you need uh, multiplications, right? So here, for x n power n, you need uh, n minus 1 times okay multiplications and also don't forget you need to multiply a n it's okay and also for this term terms we have this number right totally okay 
uh, we need uh, n plus n multiply n plus one over two multiplications, and uh, at last we need uh, here plus 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 how many times? Okay, n additions. It's okay for you. Okay, now when n is a big number, high degree, then okay, this also uh, n square because it is n square plus n over two. It's okay. So, for example, equal if n equal to ten, then we know n square equal to one hundred. Okay. So over two, it's almost fifty, right? Okay. So. Uh, now let's consider another method. We don't, uh, uh, we, because we want to reduce, reduce the operations. Okay. How to do? Like this. Firstly, we consider an multiply x plus an minus one, then multiply x n minus one. Why? Because here, you should know the first term is a n multiplied x n. The second term is a n minus 1 multiplied x n minus 1. If we just consider two terms, now you see we, can, we have a common term, x n minus 1, power n minus 1. So here, we have a n x plus a n minus 1. It's okay? Continue. The third term is a n minus 2. A n minus 2 multiply x n minus 2. It's okay? So, here. Now, uh, if we just, uh, 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 I show you this, uh, this rule. Okay? Uh, what it mean? It means if we, uh, firstly, we use, we use a n x plus a n minus 1 together. Multiply x n minus 1. If we consider this term with this term, okay, then we can write it by x multiply x n minus 2. It's okay? So you see, x n minus 2 and x n minus 2 common term. So we can take here, we can take x n minus 2 here, then this term we have a n x plus a n minus 1 together multiply this x. It's okay? Multiply this x. And plus this a n minus 2. a n minus 2. Then together multiply the common term x n minus 2. It's okay for you? And then continue. At last, you can obtain a n x plus a n minus 1 together multiply x plus a n minus 2 together multiply x and so on. Okay, actually, I just show you uh, the uh, simple example like here. So here, we have the cubic uh, polynomial here. I, I now uh, I write uh, here, I write here. So, 6, now you see, x cubic minus 5x square plus 3x minus 7. Now, equal to, firstly, we use 6x minus 5 multiply x square. It's okay for you? Plus 3x minus 7. Then, we use 6x minus 5 multiply x plus 3 together multiply x minus 7. It's clear for you? Now you see, uh, now you see 6x multiply x multiply x so cubic. Minus 5 multiply x multiply x so square. 3 multiply x here minus 7. It's okay for you? So, what does it mean? It means now here for this formula, uh, if we also consider p32, the function value at 2, then by the, this formula, we can consider like this, 6 multiplied 2, right? 
where x is equal to 2. So first we consider 6 multiplied 2 minus 5 together multiply 2 and then plus 3 again together multiply 2 at last minus 7. Okay now let's count how many operations we need now. Here we need one multiplication, one subtraction, together one multiplication, one addition, and together one multiplication, at last one subtraction, right? So now you see we only have three multiplication, multiplications, but here by this formula we have six, we need six multiplications, but here we only need three multiplications the, the the cost is half right you see and uh, one two three addition and uh, uh, subtraction it's okay for you so we reduce the cost the operations by this new math uh, formula it's okay for you so that is why we can consider Okay, in computer uh, program, we can use uh, this program like this, the iterations. Okay, we denote Sn equal to An, so first term, An, and then we use An multiply x plus An minus 1. So here, we use x multiply when n k equal to n minus 1, so that means I show you when k equal to m minus 1, it means sn minus 1 equal to x multiply sn plus a n minus 1, right? And sn is an, so it is an multiply x plus an minus 1. Now you see just this term. It's okay? This term. And then multiply x and plus a k and so on, right? So this is the iteration. Okay, actually I just show you an uh, uh, interesting formula here you, you can know. At last, pnx is a final uh, s0, is a function value. Now, the total operations includes only n multiplications and n additions. Here, you see? Multiplication, 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 multiplication. Addition, 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 and addition. So, totally only n multiplications and n additions. But here, we need n squared plus n over 2 multiplications. Right? So, the multiplications is half. We only need a half number of multiplications. Are you okay? Okay, don't worry about it. I actually, I show you an interesting, uh, like this, for, uh, program, uh, example like this. Now, I change the polynomial by 5 degree. 5x, five uh, power 5 plus x3 minus 3x square plus x minus 1. Okay, of course, you should know here, we don't have x4. That means the coefficient is 0. So, firstly, you need to write, okay, the complete form like this. So, the conversion is 5 for x power 5. For x power 4, coefficient is 0. Cubic uh, coefficient is 1. Square term uh, coefficient is minus 3. And for the uh, x term, just the coefficient, just one, and the constant term minus one. It's okay for you. No, we just focus on this, this uh, conversions. Then we can translate, transform the this polynomial by this one. It's okay. Five x plus zero together multiply x plus one together multiply x and minus 3, this 3, together multiply x and plus 1, this coefficient, together multiply x at last minus 1. It's okay for you?
Okay, now let's show you the pro uh, the program like this. We just uh, need uh, this conversion: the five zero one minus three one and minus one. It's okay from uh, original polynomial. Five zero one minus three one and minus one. It's okay. Now let x equal to two. If we want to compute the function value at two, p five two, then by this formula we need to consider five multiply two. It is ten, right? Then plus zero. Again, multiply two. So ten. Multiply 2 is 20, then plus 1, 21, then multiply 2, so it is 42, and minus 3, 42 minus 3 is 39, again, 39 multiply 2, so it should be 70, uh, uh, 39, 39 multiply 2, right, so it is uh, 78, Right, it's okay, and uh, plus one again, so it is seven seventy nine. Then multiply two, multiply two. Then it is just uh, one hundred and fifty eight. At last, minus one. Okay, so the result is uh, one hundred and fifty seven. Are you clear? Maybe uh, it's a little quick. Okay, don't for, don't worry about it. Now I show you slowly. Okay, firstly. We use 5, this 5, multiply this 2, right? So it is 10. Then use 10 plus 0. We obtain also 10. Again, multiply 2 to 20. Then put here 20 plus 1 equal to 21. Again, multiply 2 here. So it is 42, right? 42 minus 3, then we obtain 39 again multiply 2 equal to uh, 78 78 plus 1 then we obtain 79 multiply 2 we obtain 158 at last minus 1 then we obtain 157 it's okay clear okay i show you again right okay firstly we use 5 multiply 2. 5 multiply 2, it is 10, right? Then you need to use 10 to plus 0. Then you obtain also, oh, sorry. You will also obtain, oh, again. Okay. Okay, firstly, 5 multiply 2 equal to 10. 10 plus 0 also equal to 10. Then multiply 2, obtain 20. 20 plus here, plus 1, equal to 21. 21 multiply 2, multiply 2, equal to 42 here, right? And 42 minus 3, you will obtain 39. And 39 multiply 2, equal to 78. 78 plus 1, equal to 79. And then multiply 2 uh, to obtain 158. At last, minus 1, then you obtain 157. Right? Okay, so the answer P25, uh, P, P52 is just 157. Are you clear? It's okay for you? So you can practice, you can change the coefficients by practice. Okay? Okay. Uh, this scheme, uh, I will also say something uh, like scheme or algorithm. Now, because it is uh, uh, simple, so we just call it a scheme. This scheme uh, actually is known as the Qingzhou South method. Okay, if you know the Chinese characteristic Qingzhou uh, Shao uh, Shuan Fa, okay, method. Qingzhou Shao is the name of uh, ancient uh, Chinese mathematician and also this scheme is called Owner's Method 600 years later okay so it is invented by 
change yourself, okay, in ancient China. Okay, at at the last slide, I show you. Of course, it's just a figure, okay, uh, image imaginary uh, figure, okay. Here, in, uh, it is also named by honors method, but uh, okay, okay, you see here, this method are named after British mathematician, okay, honor. Although here you should know here they were known before him. Okay, by this mathematician and okay here, say please note here six hundred years earlier by the Chinese mathematician Qin Jiushao. Okay, Qin Jiushao. So this is Chinese Chinese invention. Okay, okay. So this is the last slide of the chapter one.